Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in white, and we are learning to translate, which is the key word here, an object to create an image. And in brackets, we've got including vectors. So let's, let's run through kind of the words that we're looking for here. So the first word is translate slash translation. And that's this particular type of transformation. And this is really just a fancy way of saying we're moving a shape around. And I'll get into that in a bit more detail. We're then going to need to know, well, what do I mean by vector? And in brackets, I'm just going to write this x, comma, y on top of each other. And we'll get into that in a bit more detail as well. So I suppose let's start off with a relatively straightforward example. We'll switch pen colors. We'll get into blue. Um, so we've got this trapezium here. And let's say we've been asked to translate this shape by going down four and to the right by six units. So that's what translation is. It really is just moving. So what I like to do, I'm going to start by identifying a corner. I'm going to call that A. And we're going to basically follow those instructions. So remembering that these are four units, not four boxes. Um, so we're going to go down four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And that's going to finish us off here. And then we're going to go across six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that means we've moved point A all the way over here to create point A dash. We can follow the same process. So for example, we can call this point B and then do the same thing to find its new location. Or we can just use point A as a road, as a reference point to do that. So from here, we can see it goes up two and across one. And we're going to do this here, up two and across one. So that there would be point B dash. Um, we'll change to green. We can then do the same for point C. Point C is just across two units. So there is C prime. And then finally, um, go across one and down two gets us to D. So that's D and that would be D prime. And we can connect those dots. And we've translated or moved our trapezium. We've gone down four and across six. So Translation, relatively easy in terms of the transformations we're going to do, but we are going to make it a bit more complicated by referring to these vectors here. And the vector is actually a way to communicate in how we're translating it. So let's start off just by writing x and y. So the x, that relates to how much it moves left and right or along, along the x axis. And that's left or right. And the y, you'll be shocked to hear this. It's how much we move it along the y-axis. And that refers to the up or down movement. So what we're going to do is the example above, let's convert that to a vector. And then we'll get into another scenario itself. So we can see the left or right um, is the x-axis. And we can see it's been moved to the right by six units. So that would be positive six. If it moved to the left by six units, that would make it negative six because it's going towards the left. And then the same thing here has gone down negative, down four, which would be heading towards the negative direction. So that would be negative four. So we could use that to describe what we just said in words as well. So let's go through another scenario. Um, let's move our same trapezium. I'm going to give us the vector of, of negative 1, negative 6. So let's start off. So we know the negative 1, that relates to the x-axis. And it's going towards the negative, which means it's going left. So let's use point C as our reference point. So it's gone across 
by one unit. We can then have a look at the y value. So that's gone negative six. So that means that's going down. So we're going down six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means this position here becomes point C dash dash. We can then map in the rest of us. So there would be D dash dash. There would be B dash dash. And down the bottom there would be A dash dash. And we connect those dots. And we've created our translation of our trapezium by the vector negative one comma negative six. We'll wrap up with one more example and then we'll move on. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this shape here. We're going to move it by the vector three and two. So let's see how that goes. We'll use the black pen this time around. So the X that's saying it's moving up three units and the Y that's say it's moving right by two units. So let's give that a go. So we're starting off, we'll use B as our reference point. So we're going to go up three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to the right. One, two. So that ending point there, that would be our new version of B. So I'm just going to call that B. We can then plot in everything else. So down one, so down two across one, that gets us to A. Um, up the top, across, back or to the left, two gets us to C. And then down one gets us to D and we can map our reflection or our translation and that would be our final form of that. And the last step to our video, so we've discussed vectors, how do we describe a translation? And we've got two methods to describing it. You can use your words or you can use vectors as well both of them are equally correct so let's get into the pen color let's translate our movement from the original shape down to our last shape so the first step is how much is it moved up or down so if we follow point b so we know it's gone across by one unit and it's gone one, two, three units down. So just writing some notes over here. So it's gone to the right by one unit and it's gone down by three units. So our first answer will, would be, we could just describe it in words. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna get rid of some other working so we have room to write our working. So if we wrote it in words, we could say our, object trapezium so here's our object there's our image because that's our new shape trapezium has been translated all oh, right translation translated one unit right and three units down. So that would be a perfectly good justification. So the key things is we're referring to how much it moves left or right and how much it moves up or down. And we're referring to the sh original shape and we're referring to the type of transformation that's taken place. So we need all of those elements and we'll switch to the blue pen. And finally, let's communicate that via vectors if you choose to. So our object Oh, I wrote Q for in the other one as well, but our object trapezium has been translated. And then we can put our vector over here as well. So it would be one comma negative three. So hopefully you found this video on translation useful. We went through how it moves it around. We also spent a lot of time discussing what a vector is and how that relates to the left or right or up and down movement. And then finally, we learned how to describe a transformation.
let's get into heaps of practice now.